I knew that. So I named you Mephibosheth, one who will destroy shame. Your shame will be destroyed. So on this day, Mephibosheth, God is saying that I have something for you. I have a table prepared. So David says, I will prepare a table for you at the king's table continually. Mm -hmm. See, when God blesses us, it's not temporary. Yeah. See, when we do stuff for ourselves in our own strength, saints, mm -hmm. it may sustain us for a second. But when God blesses us, it's a perpetual blessing, right. Sister Rhonda. Right. It's a perpetual right. blessing, right? right? All right. And so he says, I will give you a place at the All king's right. table All perpetually. Right. All right. And the Bible says that that's what he did. He came, Mephibosheth was invited to the king's table. But I got to tell you, saints, the Bible also indicates that he still, he was at the king's table. He ate at the king's table. His land had been restored from his father, from his grandfather Saul. But at the end of that passage in verse 13, it said that he was still lame in his feet. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes God doesn't totally take away all of our ailments, you see. Right. But God can't change your condition. Yeah. See, he changed his position from being down there in Lodabar, a place without the word, right. and brought him to Jerusalem, the city of peace and right. prosperity. Right. So God may still, there may be some things that God may not totally take away. Maybe it'll be the thorn in that flesh, right? But he will bring you. He'll move your position to a certain extent, out of Lodabar to Jerusalem. He'll change the condition of your heart. He'll elevate you to another status yeah. at the king's table. There is a place for each of us at God's table. And God is calling the Mephibosheths and the Davids of the world. Who is Mephibosheth? Who is he? Who is he? Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who have a circumstance or past that have caused us to become disadvantaged, disconnected, and discouraged. Right. Who is Mephibosheth? Those who are destined for greatness, but a tragic situation seemed to derail you from your divine yeah. destiny. Yeah. Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who have been made deaf by the noises of, of life such that we are so far from the word and the promises of God that we have forgotten who we are. Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who are paralyzed by our predicament. Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who may feel disgraced and ashamed by our circumstances. Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who will live up to the meaning of our name. To become one whose shame will be destroyed or eliminated. Who is Mephibosheth? Those of us who are out of position and feel like we are suffering from a critical condition. Who is Mephibosheth? One who was a victim but is now a victor. But God is calling you. You, David, who is David? A leader who, despite his position, power, and prestige, continued to endeavor to show kindness to the discouraged, to the disgraced, to the disregarded, to the disconnected, and yeah. to, to the rejected. Who is David? A king whose intimacy with God impacted his compassion for others. Yeah. Who is David? A leader who was elevated to encourage. Who is David? A, a leader who was blessed to be a blessing to others. Who is David? A leader who did not let his position negatively impact his heart condition with God. Right. Who is David? A leader who loves God and is called by God. And then I'll close with this final song. That's it. That's all God says. That's it. This is a message. See, we as Davids should have people who are Mephibosheths singing this particular song. And I'll just play a little bit of it. We, we should be, we should be walking in the earth in a way where the Mephibosheths of the world will know that God has not forgotten them. You see, saints, we are supposed to be the hands and feet of God in the earth. We are the body of Christ and Jesus is the head. He needs us to act like the body. And we need to have the Mephibosheth singing this as at their anthem, that God has not forgotten me. And so if any of you who are currently in that Mephibosheth state, God wants to remind you, I don't care who dropped you, whether it was the church, your family, your friends, your community, your job, God has said, I have not forgotten you. And to those of us who already know you're walking in the authority and anointing and the power and prestige and prominence of a David, humble yourself and go and fetch Mephibosheth and restore them at the king's table. 
And at the king's table, remember, there are no second-class citizens. This is God's word for God's people. Thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God.